welcome to the Theater District in Tacoma, Washington. I'm standing in the Pantages Theater, one of the city's oldest historic buildings built in 1918 and the crown jewel of the Theater District. It hosts hundreds of acts a year, everything from national touring acts to the Tacoma City Ballet. But today, I have the honor of sharing the journey and music of one of our country's beloved veterans. He's a talented composer and pianist. I'm your host, Peter Lopez. This is the American Dream. Let's raise the curtains and start the show. I come from a family with a strong military background. My grandparents and great aunt served in the Navy. My uncle and cousin served as Marines and my other aunt served as a police officer. And while I specialize in a lot of different loans for my clients over the years, having the opportunity to serve those who have served our country is close to my heart. I have the utmost respect for our veterans, their families, and the sacrifice they've made protecting our way of life. Our guest today, also a Marine veteran, stopped me in his tracks the first time I heard his music. I had to sit up front and didn't leave till he stopped playing. The best way I can describe his music is cinematic. Imagine memories from your life flashing through your head. This is the music that would be playing. Let's go meet Elijah Bossenbrook. Elijah, thanks for being here and getting a glimpse into who you are and what you've created. Uh, I remember the first time I, I heard your music, I was uh, at an outdoor festival. Uh, yeah. Not only am I a fan of Elijah, but he's also a dear friend and client. Uh, could you walk us through how you started creating music and sure. got to this point in your career? Yeah. I took 10 years of lessons, actually. Pretty soon after that, I, I was done with the lessons. I, I joined the Marine Corps, and I kind of put the piano on the back burner for the five years I was in the Marines. I, okay. I did have a keyboard, but I didn't really take it out and do much with it at that time. You know, I was focused on, on my career. Get out of the Marines, marry my beautiful wife. I buy a double wide. I work a night shift at, at a factory, okay. and my mom could really see that I was struggling. I, I needed to get my music out there somehow. I needed to focus on, on that really sure. in, in my life. And okay. so she decided that she was gonna give me three months of my salary and I was gonna make a CD for that, those three months and just focus on that. And Harmony and Disarray was born right after that. I'm very grateful yeah. for her, for, for all of her support of me throughout the years. I'm very grateful for all of my fans through through all of this and all of their support. Uh, w without further ado, could could you play something for us today? Could, could we hear you play? Yeah, of course, of okay. course. We've got a piano right here. But, oh, imagine that, <laughs> okay, let's do it. Thank you for having us here. What a beautiful theater. I now I hear there's some ghosts that reside there here. There are, yep, all friendly ghosts. Let's friendly preface ghosts. it with yes, this, yes, so. Friendly. Friendly, very friendly and very helpful ghosts. Um, probably the most famous would be um, Klondike Kate, Kitty Rock Rockwell, who, uh, whose money actually helped fund the building of this. She met Alexander Pantages, for whom this building is named, okay. uh, in the Yukon during the gold rush, uh, fell in love, gave, her, gave him all her savings, and uh, he came and built a theatre empire uh, all throughout the West Coast. This is one of the last surviving buildings and the longest continually operating theatre out of the chain. Uh, he, she gave him all the money on the promise that he would marry her and she loved him. Of course, he didn't marry her. He said, thanks, ran to Seattle, uh, married a violinist and wrote three days later. Oh, Sorry. no. I know. So oh, she no. sued him for breach of promise, did not win. Okay. Um, but I think she has the last laugh. She is the most fascinating, mischievous ghost that we have. Well, th thank you for sharing that. Yeah, Again, pleasure. thank you for having us. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Today, we honored the past in this beautiful historic building. We spotlighted a veteran who's helped protect our way of life so generations to come can, can enjoy all of this. I'm your host, Peter Lopez, and we'll see you next time on The American Dream.